Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to more U-Boat as we continue our patrol here aboard U-96. In the previous episode, if you remember, we did a small port raid on Gibraltar where we managed to sink a few ships, and also on the escape, we also shot down a Sunderland, which was quite surprising. We are currently exiting the Strait of Gibraltar here, really just heading due west. On the map, we do have some propeller noises, a tiny group, one vessel here. Way up here, I do believe that is a friendly U-boat. We've been seeing quite a few U-boats lurking around the area. Overall, this has been a fairly successful patrol for U-96. We have to travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area, which is Grid CG, and we are almost done with that. We have about a sixth of this bar left, so that is quite nice. The situation in the boat is fairly good as well. No damage has been sustained this patrol. Let's make sure there's no water in the control room, and there is. Let's turn on the pump and get that out of there. We just finished recharging our compressed air as well with the diesel compressor, so that is all hunky-dory now. And the crew seems to be doing fairly well. I actually redid our crew management setup here and our shifts and such. So I broke it down into two 12-hour shifts, first watch and second watch. I actually watched a pretty good tutorial video that went through all the ins and outs of U-boat crew management and I'll link that in the description below in case you're curious but hopefully this new setup I have here with the schedules will alleviate some of the issues I've been having with uh, crew management thus far. But overall the crew seems hunky-dory, the discipline is good as well. The situation for U-96 right now in terms of armament is as follows. We have two T1 torpedoes in the bow tubes and that is all. Let's see what I have in the stern tubes. I think I have at least one torpedo back here. Okay, I still have both of them. I was trying to remember if I launched a stern torpedo or not, but we still have two T2 torpedoes in the aft. Deck gun ammunition may not be so good. Let's take a look here. Deck gun, I have five AP deck gun rounds. That is all. So we are running very low on ammunition at this point. This may be enough to finish off a merchant I've hit with a torpedo, but I don't think we can sink anything with just five rounds here. Unless they're very well placed. Food is starting to look pretty slim as well, so once we finish up our assigned task here of traveling, uh, we may have to head back to La Rochelle. Or start plotting our return journey, and I think we will do that. In the previous episodes, I mentioned HMS Nelson was rumored to be operating in this area here. Unfortunately, I have not seen her or had any indication of where she would be. So, uh, some comments said she's pretty rare to spawn, so maybe we'll find her eventually. Okay, well, that's all I really have for now. That's a good rundown of what is going on in our playthrough. We'll continue moving at, you know, around one-third speed, just patrolling around and seeing what else we can find. Okay, U-96 has just dove to periscope depth to do a quick hydrophone check and we already got something, propeller noises to the northwest and it's a tiny group, one to three vessels. See some time compression here and see what course they are generally heading on. Trying to mark their position. Go. Go mark that and we can plot a course like so. Yeah, we should be able to intercept them fairly easily here. It looks like they're moving kind of quickly. Let's head like so. That should be sufficient. Battery power's at 56%. It's going to be depleted in quite a while. We have plenty of battery power at our current speed. Use some time compression here. Looks like uh, Hoffman is currently preheating our torpedoes, which is quite nice of him. Thank you, good sir. And we lost hydrophone contact, which is less than ideal. Well, hopefully, if they're continuing on this... Oh, here we go. Got them. Transports. Osterman's pretty tired as well. He's exhausted. I need to get him into bed after this attack. 
We are going to 315 the targets to establish their speed. Let's go ahead and get a good mark down right in front of this vessel. And once the bow crosses that point, we'll start our stopwatch. Uh, Osterman, if you can get on the radio real fast. Okay, let's shoot that off the BDU. Passing 15 seconds. We still have a while. We want this to run for three minutes and 15 seconds. Get back on the hydrophone, please. Before we can establish a, a speed. Only got two vessels. You hearing more? Oh, there's another group out here. Well, that's good to know. We'll see. We don't have very many torpedoes, so... This may be the only group we engage. Two minutes. Passing three minutes now, and we wait for 15 seconds. Let's get our marker out. 10. 15 mark. And this should give us a pretty good idea of how fast they are heading. Seven knots. Perfect. Get that out of there. Let's head slowly towards them, and we can begin to plug this information into the TDC. We'll plug target speed at seven knots. Perfect. And since we are using uh, T1 torpedoes or G7As, we'll set our speed to 44 knots. Plug in a range of one kilometer for the time being, and that should be good. We do want it slaved. Perfect. Continue to close, and I suppose we can begin to identify these targets. Get our scope down. What are you? Lock on target. Can raise our periscope a bit more as well. Identification. Tribal now. Our bell now. It says a king post in the back. Empire Explorer. Definitely it. Unlock. Now, where is the other one's behind it and in the foreground? There she is. Lock on target. Bring up our recognition manual. This is one of the newer vessels, I believe. C3 cargo now. NA1. That's it. Look at that. That's definitely it. Recognized target. 2000 tonner. Not bad. We will be firing at the Empire Explorer first, however. Okay, lock. We do want to get range to target like so. Set range to th just over 2,000 kilometers or 2,000 meters, excuse me. So around two kilometers, two and a half. Probably a bit closer than that, however. Okay, slow the boat down. This should be sufficient. We probably can launch around now. Up scope. Let's try to identify one more time. Or get the range one more time. Set. 1,814 meters. Not bad. Let's pull this all up. Speed 44 knots. Angle on bow. What does it look like? Probably around a 75 degree angle to port. Something like that. Looks good to me. Slave bow torpedo. Speed 7 knots. Range 1.4. Like that. Perfect. We'll be using the TDC information for this attack. That's all set. Flood tube one, speed 44 knots. We'll keep our depth at 1.5 meters. Okay, just looking through everything once again to make sure everything is hunky-dory with our attack. And I think we are golden. Tube one's flooded and ready to go. We will be firing momentarily. Wait, okay, tube one. We're ready. Los. Los! Okay, tube one is away. Unlock target. Actually, we may need to begin to reverse the boat here. We're probably getting awfully close to our other merchant friend. Yep, reverse the boat. Get ready to fire on the next one in line. Get on the attack scope, please. Hello, my friend. 
Lock on target. Most of the data will be the same for this attack as it is for this one. And this torpedo is looking pretty good. May hit right in the middle here. Uh, just, just forward of where I was aiming, but still a hit. Torpedo impact. Not bad. Serious damage. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, reverse our boats. Ready to make our attack. Actually, this should be okay now. Empire Light, new contact. Don't know. I think that's the one we're looking at here. Anyway, we don't have time to uh, keep screwing around. Let's get back on the scope, get ready to make our attack. Open up the TDC, angle on bow, probably around 60 degrees to port. Right now, speed will stay at seven knots. Range is significantly lower. 600 meters should be fine for the time being. Bow torpedo, speed 44 knots. Perfect, and it is updating. Open this bad boy up. We want to try to get range to target really quickly. Be firing very soon. Set 605 meters, I can believe it. We'll set this to 800. Uh, we'll do 700 because by the time we're ready to fire, we would have we will have reversed the boat sufficiently. There we go. But 700 meters, that's that's not bad. That's a pretty good firing distance. Flood tube two. Angle on bow. What's it showing? It's pretty much dead at 90 now. All right, tube two flooded. Tube two. Speed 44 knots. There we go. Los. Los! Okay. Tube two's away. She is turning hard to starboard there. We'll see if we still get a hit despite her evasive her evasive maneuvers. It's looking good. We can see the wake and that may hit dead center there. Oh, just forward, baby. There we go. Another torpedo impact. We're two for two, not bad. And the Empire, this freighter went down. And so did this one. One ship, one torpedo. Or in this case, two ships, two torpedoes. Forward three, surface the boat. That was quite the attack. Uh, you can go to bed now. Actually, get on the radio room. Let's shoot these messages off to BDU. Uh, and there is supplies floating there. That is exactly what I need, considering our food supply is extremely low. Turn on our diesel compressor. And great, Wolf is getting on the Uzo. Get on the conning tower. Let's move towards these supplies and try to pick them up. So my crew doesn't starve to death on the return journey to La Rochelle. If we look here, galley, we have one loaf of bread, six cheese and eight fish. Definitely, uh, definitely cutting it a little close here in terms of food supply. All right, we'll come right up. Where'd it go? Oh no, the food disappeared. Did it really? You gotta be kidding me. It was just here. Don't don't play tricks on me, game. I was really betting on that food. And it looks like the food is gone. Well, don't hit the life raft. Well, that is unfortunate. looks like we will be heading back to La Rochelle. I may check out these propeller noises. We still have two stern torpedoes here, right? Let me see. Yeah, we have two T2 torpedoes and the stern torpedo too. Okay, so that should work out fine. I am going to figure out what's going on with these propeller noises and maybe we can get ourselves another kill. I'm kind of upset that that little crate that was bobbing in the water went down, but I thought that would help us uh, make it to La Rochelle. Maybe next time, maybe on the next ship. We'll see. Anyway, I'll track this uh, other contact here and get back to you folks soon. On this convoy, let's dive down to periscope depth, please. Hopefully we weren't detected. And look at these merchant ships. Some of them are pretty beefy looking. 
We'll only be able to fire at one because we only have one stern torpedo in the tube. To make another attack, we'd have to reload. And I'd like to keep one torpedo just in case uh, we need to defend ourselves. And hopefully our boat is submerging nicely. That's getting there. I suppose I can begin to do the same thing that we did previously and get speed on the convoy. Let's mark it. Wow, they are crawling at a snail's pace, it looks like. Mark. And start the timer. Oh, no, we need to reset this. There we go. Ooh, I mean, that point may not be too accurate now. Should be close enough. We can kind of guesstimate. However, I'm not too worried about it. We don't have anyone on the hydrophones now because Osterman is absolutely pooped. I've been working that man to death. Okay, actually, you're going to have to get on there. Alfred, you can get on there. Yeah. Why not? Okay, passing three minutes. We don't have an accurate contact report at the moment, so we'll have to redo this. That's fine. We'll continue to close on the convoy. Okay, we got one. Here we go. Beautiful. We'll mark it. Looks like they may have sped up a little bit or I'm just going crazy. Start the timer. There they go. There they are. One minute. We'll probably aim for this one. Two minutes. Passing three minutes. Get ready. We want to wait 15 seconds and then we can mark. I hate whenever you hover over the ship, your little marker goes away. It's kind of frustrating. Got to keep it in front of it. And mark. 0.7. So from 0.6 to 7, the merchant ship has traveled 650 meters, so they're going 6.5 knots. Reset that. Put off to the side there. Which one's the largest freighter here? Doesn't look like this one is the largest. However, it would be the easiest to sink with one torpedo. We do have some deck gun ammunition, if I'm not mistaken. So we could try to deck gun one of them. What do we got? Five deck gun rounds. We could try to hit one of them with a deck gun and see what happens while we reload our last stern torpedo to fire. That's an idea. I may actually end up doing that. We wouldn't have anything to defend ourselves on the trip home, but we're close enough. I'm not too worried about it. And uh, honestly, after this attack, I think we need to head home to La Rochelle anyway due to the low food supply. We'll see what we got. Enemies currently around 2,000 kilometers away. All right, let's make our turn. Perfect. Slow down and actually we can reverse the boat. Okay, this is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Let's get on the attack scope and identify our target. Get ready to fire at it. We do have a G7E torpedo loaded up in tube number five. So it does not have the variable speed setting like the uh, G7As. But the bonus to this in real life is the uh, G7E doesn't leave a bubble trail on the surface. Unfortunately, that is not modeled in game just yet. Empire Tower, no. Empire Explorer. I think this is another Empire Explorer. We can tell because of that K mass back there. There we go. Mark. 2000 tonner. Should be should be easy peasy for us to sink with our torpedo. We don't want to do that. We already got their speed. I meant to do this. Range the target. There we go. Set. 1,459 meters away. I can believe it. Let's pull up our TDC. Speed we established was 6.5 knots. So 5, 6.5. There we go. 
Angle on bow will do 60 degrees to port for the time being. And range will do one kilometer. Or, well, we did 1.4. Yeah, there we go. So about that, and we are shooting with the stern torpedo tubes, or tube in this case. And we'll slowly back it up, get nice and close and prepare to fire. And we start moving forward now. Don't want to get too close. And this is looking like a pretty good position to fire from. Get on the attack scope. Up scope. Range the target. Nice and slow. <laughs> She's pretty close, but I do like making my attacks fairly close to the enemy vessels. Set range 429 meters, not bad. Let's start moving a little quicker. Just put a little bit more distance between us and the merchant ship. Bring up our TDC. 500 meters should be fine. Closing in rapidly. Open this up. Blood oh, tube five. Be be son. Let's angle on bow. Angle on bow's pretty much 90 now. Perfect. Tube five flooded and ready to fire. All right, tube five, get ready. Once this turns to zero, we'll launch. All right, tube five. Look. Close! There we go, tube five away. See what we got. That's going to be a hit. It's looking pretty good. Need some time compression. It looks like this may hit just aft of the funnel there. She may have been going a little faster than the six and a half knots, but still got her right in the stern. A hit's a hit. Definitely the worst attack of the video thus far, but still a hit. Let's see if that's enough to bring her down. We are currently loading in tube number five. Get another sailor on there with you. Hopefully none of these merchant ships are armed. Let me surface the boat. No kidding. Deck gunned. But that would not be fun. She's taking lots of water aft. Has a pretty heavy list as well. Yeah, I think she's going to go under. We shall see, however. Turn around and continue to track. Two five is now loaded. Okay, we have five deck gun rounds available. I don't want to pump another torpedo into this merchant ship, but it looks like she's still chugging along at her current speed and it's not sinking. So we're going to surface the boat, use those five deck gun rounds on this on Empire Lance Colt and uh, finish her off. Surface the boat. There we go. Get on the 88. Thank you. Be able to finish her off and get out of here. Hopefully before any aircraft fly this way. We are well within allied air cover. All right. Wolf is climbing down the conning tower and sprinting to the deck gun. All right. Yeah, you just got to grab it. It's okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she's listing pretty heavily. We'll aim for the middle there. Kind of want to get waterline hits to cause more water to flood into the merchant vessel. One. Two. Five. Five rounds should definitely put her under. Look at that. She is listing pretty heavily. Oh, maybe not. It was just bobbing up and down in the waves. One more to go. We'll see. Hopefully this is enough. There we go. That's all. That's all of our deck gun ammunition. Those other merchant ships are mighty lucky. Okay, now you can get on the flag gun. 
slow down the boat. I do want to try to pick up supplies from her if she ends up going down. We'll just circle her. Wow, she is still... Still doing just fine. Well, let's use our anti-aircraft gun to fire at the ship. Yeah, that's what I'm talking No, wrong ship. Don't fire at that ship. Yeah, this one. You want to make me get on this? I wonder if armor piercing ammo would uh, work a bit better. I kind of want to start a fire. I think that would be ideal, right? It's probably our best bet. There we go. Well, this merchant ship has been awfully stubborn and is really refusing to sink. So we're going to go ahead and finish her off with our stern torpedo now. We'll fire from the surface, angle on bow, 90 degrees speed. We'll account for drift there, barely. Range around 700 meters. Aft torpedo, everything's looking good. Open this up. Tube number five, flood. Depth will keep at 1.5 meters. And hopefully this is good. Yeah, she just refused to go down. Definitely a very stubborn vessel, so we're going to finish her off with our last torpedo. Oh, we do not want speed. Speed 30 knots. There we go. All right, tube five, look. Hopefully we don't miss a stationary target. That would be mighty embarrassing. One in it. There we go. The torpedo has left its tube. Yeah, it looks like it is running hot, straight, and normal towards the target. And that is our last torpedo of the patrol. Unfortunately, flat gunning this merchant ship did not work. So we'll just uh, do it the old-fashioned way, I suppose, with a good old torpedo. And if this is a dud, I'll be very upset. There we go. You can see it. Boom. There we go. And that is definitely going to finish her off. Let's turn towards the enemy vessel just to see if there's any supplies that'll be dropped in the water that we can pick up. And she is sinking. Let's get our radio man on the radio. Get on there, my friend. Okay, and she went under. Send that off to BDU. And there is no supplies in the water. I accidentally used some time compression there when she was sinking, so... Yeah, I'm not seeing any supplies. Well, darn it. That is mighty unfortunate. So we're just going to have to plot a course to La Rochelle now. I did not mean to hit the time compression button when she was sinking. That kind of sucks. I kind of wanted to watch the last ship of the patrol sink, but the rest of the convoy is just going to have to be able to escape unscathed. We'll have to let them go there. Okay, well, time to plot a course to La Rochelle. We want to get there at kind of best speed because we don't want to run out of few or of food, mostly. Everything else is looking good. We're okay on fuel, but we don't want to run out of food. Okay, well, with that, I'll cut now and get back to you folks soon. Well, it's currently June 3rd, 1941, and we have successfully completed our patrol. Let's go ahead and send that report off to BDU. It's quite nice to finally have that patrol under our belt. That was quite a good one and quite a long one. In any case, we are continuing our journey back to La Rochelle, where we will rearm our boat and get ready to depart for our next patrol. Hopefully, as long as we're not attacked, I will see you folks in La Rochelle. So my worries about the uh, the, <laughs> the sickness and starving to death have turned out to be very, very real. We have run out of food and the sickness, I guess, of starvation is spreading throughout the boat. But thankfully, La Rochelle is right here. Hopefully. We can make it. Discipline is absolutely awful due to hunger. They are not happy with me, but La Rochelle is in sight, folks. We can we can make it. It'll be okay. <laughs> oh no. Lesson learned. Uh take more food. Take more food. And that is one hundred percent the lesson here. Swing our boat around and Oh, we have a visual contact. Go ahead and send that off. Every little bit helps. We're almost here, boys. It's okay. It's all right. Thankfully, Osterman got some uh, experience being a medic. So I, I don't know if he's happy about that. I hope so. You know, 
all experience is good experience, right? Okay, let's pull up here. Flank speed. <laughs> Slow down. Hello. We may have some issues. There we go. Boat is docked, and hopefully the sickness will go away. Uh, we're going to go immediately to the warehouse. Up. What do I need, officer? Uh, show me what you got. I would, I would like some food. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take some canned meat. 14 of that. Let's take some vegetables and some taters. There we go. Goodbye. <laughs> and we are going to see what uh, what's going on here. Admiral T is deeply impressed by your last patrol. Solid work, Captain. And here we go. New decoration. German cross in gold. Awarded for repeated acts of bravery and combat, it is ranked higher than the Iron Cross and paves the way for the reputable Knight's Cross decoration. Crews commonly called this the Friday. Yeah, we got this. Oh, Kloss is getting one. Well, congratulations, Kloss. I'm proud of you. All right, Wolf gains points to the next decoration. Almost have a Knight's Cross. It's not quite a bit of vessels this current patrol, but I'm sure after our next patrol, we will have a Knight's Cross. And that's all. Mission summary, here we go. So we sunk 37,000 tons. The patrol lasted 11 days and 5 hours. And we traveled 8,475 kilometers. How many ships did we sink? Quite a few. Let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 enemy vessels. And then one short Sunderland that we managed to uh, take out with our machine gun. Okay. Overall, a pretty fun patrol and a very good one for U96. I have a lot to sift through in terms of research and everything like that. So we will, uh, I guess we'll see all of that next time. Uh, any orders from the Admiral team? Let's see what's possible for the next patrol. Okay, attack Portsmouth Port. That's pretty hard, apparently. That's the most difficult one. Espionage on the Cardiff docks. Well, ooh, or we can just patrol Sector CE. Nice, easy patrol, but attack on Portsmouth Port that sounds uh, terrifying. But these are our three missions. Let me know what you folks want to see. I will do either of these, although I'm pretty sure I know which one is going to be the popular option. Foggy weather is expected in the area. That, that'll be nice, especially for a port raid. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it really does help out the channel. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.